Okie dokie. Let's do this again with box number two. Uh, only got two boxes to start off with this time of War of the Spark. I uh, feel like I probably should have got more. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. I tried to, we'll see if we can't angle this a little better because I... The last video had some uh, some glare issues, especially down here, and it looks like it still is. Maybe that way. I don't know. We'll see. Here, we'll put the box right there. That way it's not in the way. Blind Blast. Didn't we get that, like, first a whole bunch of times in the last box? Oh. It's a white, black. Or no, that's black, that's green, red, yeah. Had to, I had to empty out the five color ones because those were uh, getting full and they, Vivian, Vivian's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, they were getting full, so I had to put those over there and while that video is uploading, I started sorting a few into the binder. I got some of the white done, you know, but uh, Gideon Blackblade. Getting a lot of the a lot of the walkers, not a lot of the legends though. The uh, of course five of the legends, the all five of the gods are mythic, so that's gonna that's gonna hurt a little bit. I I may have to trade or buy some of those. Dreadhorde Anarchist. We got him in the last box, didn't we? Thought that was colorless there for a second. Did you see that? Another Domri. Try to peel through this one a little quicker. Uh, I know that last video was a little on the longish side. It at 30 minutes. Of course, it's it's probably going to be longer since I'm actually physically touching most of the cards, so I'll try to get through this as quick as possible. Parhelion. Let's, uh, I don't know. I hadn't, hadn't looked at a lot of the prices of, you know, all the rares and stuff, but Parhelion just seems like it's a, uh, it's a bulk rare that we might be able to get pretty cheap as time goes on. Storif. There's a legendary. Yeah. I need him. Uh, it's one of the rares. So that's cool. The Karn Lich. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey! Hey! We got a shiny Tulsimir. That's uh that's one full rare. Last box we got two full rares, so that's it's decent, right? I don't know. I, I really like having the commanders foil. I mean, I guess we all do to a certain point. There's a awakening of Vitugazi and a foil Tibalt. You know, a buddy of mine's been a Tibalt fan since before it was cool. Who am I kidding? I don't think it's ever been cool. But that Tibalt messed me up the day it, it, in the pre-release. I mean it. Just making devil after devil. There's a Johnny. Come on, Tafiri. you got to have something good for us, right? I mean, look at that. Flying First Strike Vigilance Lifelink. Yeah, it's six mana for a 3-3, but kind of makes you want to play it with Audric. You know, playing your beacon? God Eternal Oketra. That's a good one. That's one of the five mythics down. Fairy, he did some work for me today. 
that uh, opponent's not playing instance, or can only play instance at sorcery speed, man, that, uh, that kept me alive from Jimmy's uh, giant growth. Because giant growth in limited is, in my opinion, one of the best removal spells that there is. Widespread brutality. And it is just... Uh, I mean, because that's what it is. It's a lot of times... It is one mana destroy target creature. That iron bully is apparently really common. Check that out. Three cards. Is that uh, I'm pulling a card per box. Uh, to, to, well, this time card's rare, so I mean he's not mythic, so it's it's going to be significantly easier to pull probably. We're just so used to Mythic Carn. There's Tomic. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. Oh, I, I can't get the pack open. We got here the Wanderer. Bolus of Citadel. I don't think we've pulled that one yet, have we? Lands you control have indestructible. What? I always like the way they've done the Mrs. Emblems because, you know, her eyes get all white and hollow and just like one of those. I'm not going to mess with her right now or ever at all. Whoa! That's cool. That's Mowu Ain uh, Yangu in the same pack. That's cool. I like it. Ignite the Beacon. Ignite the Beacon's a real card, y'all. Much like Call the Gate Watch. Uh, call the Gate Watch. I mean, they're still printing Planeswalkers, or, well, so we think. I mean, this may be the culling. They may be like, yeah, we're done. Conjurant. There's a Chandra. And a second foil rare. The Dreadhorde Invasion. Which is... What are they... See, that's nowhere near as good as Bitter Blossom. It's, it's uh... What are they calling it? Zombie Blossom? Ah. Uh, you can't go wide with it. I mean, you have to go tall. It's like... It's like there's an unwritten rule that you can only have one army. I'm sure there are ways to get around it, but I kind of want to play around with the mass and all of the changeling creatures. Um, I may now actually have inspiration to build Misform Ultimus, since it's, you know, an army and whatnot. The silver wing foil. And I think once I get done with this box, I'll sort in my pre-release stuff in here, too. So y'all can see what I didn't play with. Man, Mowu everywhere. God Eternal Bantu. That's uh, two of the five mythics. I got enough to keep me building tonight, don't I? Uh, it's prom night here in our, our local area so you know kids are out it's prom night so the wife's at work so I'm uh, just it's all, the elder spell again uh, it's all about the spark tonight house to myself just me and y'all cracking packs of war it's living the dream Finale of Revelation, the blue one. Domery. Man, pulling some Domeries, ain't we? We have to we have to trade some Domeries for some, some legends. Hopefully Domery's worth something that'll get me some legends.
Kaya. The celebration again. Weird. This pack right here marks the two third way of the box. I think we're going a lot quicker this time than we were last time. Enter the God Eternals and a foil. Oh, man, that is pretty. The statue. Of course, y'all know I'm just a big raccoon anyway. I love shiny things. That's a phrase that I, I got from reading a, a book. Well, it was actually later into a, a movie. It, it was like required reading back when I was in grade school. It, it was called Where the Red Fern Grows. It I really enjoyed it, and I bought the uh, movie. Hey, look, there's a Jace. We know where that's going, don't we? Uh, time, to, time to update deck number 400 already. Because, you know, it's a Jace that exists that's not in there, so can't have that. Uh, but where the Red Fern Grows was a... It was good. Uh, I was going to school for that in, like, the southeast Missouri area. And Soul Diviner. This thing drew my opponent some cards today. So, it, it, it's really good. What were their names? Old Dan and Little Land. And, and in that, I got off topic, in that book slash movie, um, the movie was actually pretty decent. Uh, Bioessence Hydra is another awesome card. They He was uh, trying to train his dogs to be a raccoon hunter or a raccoon tracking dog or something. Coon dogs, you know. And uh, he... Uh, he needed a, a pelt, so he, he made a, a little trap, and that's where I got the, you know, raccoons love shiny things from. Kaya, Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, I, I know it's random. I'm just randomly talking about a, God, what was that? Early 80s made-for-TV movie? Yeah. I can't remember who... who who was the author of that novel? Naheb. Man, banging them out now. That first box looked a little bleak for Legends. Still, I don't think we're going to get them all, but... Uh, what's the... Is Kefnet the expensive one? Because I know it seems like the Kefnet is like the CEDH one, you know, from the taking turns, and I have I have vowed not to put a single take an extra turn card in, in my cabinet deck, even though that's probably what we're supposed to do. Speak of the devil, and they shall appear. There's God Eternal Kefnet. Nice. So we got the white god, the blue god, and the black god, and the red, well, no, the head's not a god in this set. Uh, the Raised Boar is the red uh, mythic god, isn't it? And we hadn't pulled a Raised Boar yet. There's a Dreadhorn Arcanus. Oh, man, I hope that card does something, because if so, I'm kind of set for it. A lot of times there's... Is it just me, or am I just noticing the red card being on top? Kazmina. Yeah, that's... There's another Storov. So, Storov is a zombie elf wizard. You know, it's like three relevant creature types. There's another yellow submarine that's blue. I should have made it gold so that it was actually yellow. That would have been funny. Solar Blaze and a Spark Reaper.
Um, there's another tank. Tank. It's our last tank. We'll try to make another pre-release tomorrow at another one of the uh, LGSs. Try to make the, you know, the circuit. I guess, by all rights, I could be at one right now. So the Sarkin. And then, let's, uh, let's reach over here and grab this pre-release stuff that I, I didn't use today. And we'll sort that in there, too. Oh, hey. That's right. Y'all saw my pre-release opening video. Those are all already in color order, aren't they? And then, of course, we've got the deck, which is in sleeves. I'm not going to de-sleeve it right now. But that is it for the box bust. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Uh, well, as far as y'all know, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, Sort these into the binder, and here we'll will it fit? Will it fit? No, it will not fit. So we'll have to. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to sort these, put them up, and uh, probably we'll see you when we start doing the decks. So till next time, I do appreciate you watching. Y'all, let me know what you think, and. Uh, We'll see you later.